Hello there, everyone, and welcome to episode four of the Enclave series in Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. And what you can see, we're redoing the war against the NCR. We've done quite well. We've paired up the most, the vast majority of their uh, major cities. Um, they are at 93% uh, towards capitulation, and we do have 15% towards collaboration, so we're doing pretty well. Um, our infantry is actually pushing out a little bit. Yeah, we're just still trying to get to Navarro. It's a little bit over there. Uh, it's going to take just a little bit more time. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to get over there, but, you know, you never know. Oh, hello. Uh, hold. Hey, ding-dongs. I just want you to do that. There you go. Um, and it looks like we won! I love starting the episode off and winning. Even though, I'll be honest, um, the game does crash whenever I do this. So, actually, I might just do one state at a time. Can we do this? Because it's only us. Good. Um, some demands. Please do not crash, for the love of God, please do not crash, please do not crash. But, yeah, overall, I mean, I did a pair drop, but we did not have to do the Lucia incident, so we didn't have to give any of the territory to uh, Lost Hills. And we did the uprising, which gave us all that extra territory, as you saw, up in Northern California, which is really nice. Gave us tons of extra divisions. And then, well, we took all the major cities in the south, so please, please, please work, please work, please work, please don't crash. Please do not crash. And the game finally didn't crash. Be careful what you wish for, though. The destruction of the New California Republic has left our army overextended, with raiders and super mutants attacking outlying towns. The people of the NCR are bitterly divided between those who hope for a better future and those who fear the power armor marching through their towns. NCR loyalists have taken to the hills, sniping at our men and supply convoys. Factories and caravan routes lay idle as merchants fear whether their dollars are worth the paper they're printed out on. And California's leadership await their fate, wondering if they can work with the United States or they'll end their days at a camp in the Mojave. The Enclave has won, but tell me if in destroying the NCR, America has lost. But I was told that be, they would welcome us as liberators. We lose all of our stability in war sport. No, not really. We lose a crap ton of legitimacy. Add a lot of California resistance, delete rebel templates, bottle caps, your expenses will be doubled until you solve this crisis. Oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, launch goes detected. Now that we've liberated Navarro from America's enemies, the Army Corps of Engineers is going through old records and that's come across something interesting. They've managed to find launch codes for some missile silos. Although most of those codes were lost during the war or after due to the Voltec subversion. If we ever find missiles that weren't used, it could come in handy. Were there silos in southern Nevada and the silos? There they are. The signals were tracked to missile silos that survived the Great War. With bombs ready to go off, our engineers safely deactivated the nukes, but we needed to decide what to do with them. Some scientists have suggested mothballing the nukes and using the plutonium for peaceful means, but nuclear missiles could give us a powerful tool to finish liberating the reunited states. However, we have to find the launch codes for the nukes, which records on the base suggest we were stored at a military base in Northern California. Wait, how do we lose nuclear codes? Some scientists suggest we could have set off the nukes by accident if we weren't, aren't careful, but only an idiot could do that. Why we'll not trade glory for savagery? Some other nuclear weapons, for we cannot reach out to fellow Americans with nuclear arms. We'll go with that one for now. Born your remnants. After the fall of Navarro, Many survivors tried their luck at integrating into the NCR. While a large number were found out and arrested, many more successfully began their new lives in the boneyard. Those people and their descendants now have petitioned us to rejoin the Enclave. Welcome back, Shady Sands remnants. After the fall of Navarro, uh, basically this is the same thing, but now in Shady Sands. Welcome back. Sac City, same thing. Welcome back. And traders from even farther. A uh, trade ship docked in Dayglow last night, bearing markings unknown to anyone in the wastes. An orange, white, and green flag flew in its bow. And its crew began marking, uh, marketing strange spices, foods, and fruits we've never seen before. When questioned by port authorities on their origin, their shipmaster claimed to be from a place called India. While most West Enders most sick of for the pre-war state of Indiana, we do know India was overrun by communist Chinese back in the 2050s. It looks like they too managed to claw the back from the brink. The ship remains in port for the next few weeks to take on provisions and refuel for sailing off to parts unknown. Is it from hostile standing? Ooh, Indian spices. Ooh, weekly stability gain plus 3%. How did the Navy escort them out? Dude, that's, that's awesome. Uh, also, we have a cup of white tea here to keep us nice and warm, as you can see. Uh, we are setting up to invade the Shi, and we're doing okay. And we finally have a navy here too. Fan flippin tastic arena. Uh, the compliance though is not great though. Oh god, Indian spices, anarchy. Oh, shnikes, that's not good. Um, uh, or disorganized. Oh, holy shnikes. Well, that ain't good. Um, we can't get rid of this. Can we? No. We're doing a new base of operations right now, which is decent. And we're going to need way more infantry armor for this. Oh god. In all honesty, um... Let's go back to the last American army. Yeah. Economic resurgence is good, though. That helps us out a little bit. Um, infantry equipment. Resurgence is good. 
and uh, spread it out a little bit more. That helps out a little bit at the very least. Lanius goes west. Oh god. Kaiser's found his hammer against the west. The base of operations is nice. Well, this one last time too, but I don't think we should really do that at the current moment. We should probably try to be rebuild the, a nation. We're following the fuel and we've had quite a run. Port reformers, we get the job done. We'll be known as the Enclave of Reconstruction Authority, the President of the People. Though in the United States requires more than plasma guns, we must store order the waste and show why the Enclave is the world's last best hope. Absolutely. Oh god, we don't have any cities either. Jesus. Oh god, I collapsed the economy. Low officer chief stuff. I do want Pentagon Report, though. That'd be good. Hmm. Not ideal. Not ideal. There go. And welcome back, Power Armor. Really here. Unique and interesting. Um, I probably won't call it personality. Uh, or oh, approach loyalty. Yeah, I'll do that one. Because that one's. This one's okay. Uh, cause you get plus three. I get the same. I still want more reinforcer, that'd be nice. More attack. More attack. We'll probably get to him later again. Principal, uh, well, I mean, with this route, we're going to reform this purity. Principal. You know what? I think we'll go with principal for this one. Why not? We'll go with principal. It's for purity. Three gun infiltration, why not? Do we have any doggos? We have one doggos. Not enough. Oh, what is this? Lost those diplomacy, curb elites, influence. Appears that more and more power in a country is ending up in the hands of a select few individuals. And we're not one of them. We could risk antagonizing them, but we're going to undermine the power and influence before it's too late. Lost those diplomacy. The answer is political gridlock and schema prevented them from being able to deliver the decisive drag needed to end Lost Hills. We, on the other hand, are completely capable of it. Get there eventually. Good. I'll provide prioritized civilian relief. We want to many of our new citizens in dire straits. Let us prove to our, approve ourselves as a benevolent government by prioritizing their needs over heavy industry. Fine. Legion Mar oh. With the fall of New California, the greatest opponent to Legion lies in ashes. Who is going to stop Kaiser and his bid to conquer the waste? Raiders. The collapse of the California. Uh, left of territories back to uh, Raiders. It's not be solved until we restore law and order. President of the people. <clears throat> For over 200 years, the Enclave President has wished wielded a great amount of power within the organization, if not at all. Well, the Congress has only given an advisory role and lacking any true powers in the legislative branch, but times have changed rapidly. We are no longer a limited military organization, but a government. How will the role of the President change in the future? Well, it'll take a strong people to bring peace to America. It'll take a strong President to bring peace to America. It'll take a strong President to defeat communism. I like the political power, but we don't really need more political power. So we're a former faction. We're Dorn and Loyalists, the Wastelanders. Ruler, huh? Take a strong president to bring peace. Ah, America. All right, acquisition of resources. No, we're good for now. Hearts and minds, emergency labor draft. Open for business. Support American greatest companies. Yesterday's enemies. Ooh. Yeah. Although many in California hate the Enclave, we can take steps to pardon those who do not take up arms against the Enclave and woo some of the old regimes for a cause. For as Lincoln said, "Do I not destroy my enemies when I make them my friends?" This will definitely help us out. So our leadership. Corporate. The army. Um, vaccinations. Yeah, we're gonna go that for now. Where detection law and order? Oh, we complete the mute, qu mute question first. The new order. That'd be nice. Protest and Necropolis. In the city of Necropolis, a crowd of people form. Too sudden to organize to be a spontaneous occurrence, especially considering the banners unfurled and slogans chanted. A brave few souls flying against our flags as the crowd grows and marches on. Protests have uh, <clears throat> broken out in the ex NCR state. Many taken to the streets demanding a formal declaration from a government that we view the wastelanders as equal to unmutated humans. Break up the protests. Comply with their demands. 
Vague and meaningless promises will do. Freedom of speech. There have been some upsides to the falls of the NCR. By the final hours, the nation was run by an oligarchic alliance between Brahmin barons and the caravan companies uh, who turned the NCR's democracy into a joke. They managed to suppress the Senate much of the NCR by buying up or otherwise dealing with hostile reporters and pushed the NCR's Senate to pass legislation clamping down what, what could and couldn't be published. The fall of the NCR has given riders room to breathe while the American promise is uh, many, too many a breath of fresh air. For all the chaos, there's a feeling in the air, a whisper of old world blues and new world hopes. Time will tell whether this will turn into an American spring or a nuclear winter. Wait, what are they writing about us? God, free press. Oh no. That's not good. Oral tyranny serfdom. The liberation of California America cities or America's cause seems brighter than it has in 200 years. For those who oppose the restoration of the United States, cause our legion, the West Washington Brotherhood, got by unholy contempt for America, formed an alliance against us. They know that I left unchecked the United States will reclaim this country, and so they've asked for war. They're going to get it. Now that enemies of America have begun to gather against you, they'll prepare to solidify their lines and move upon you. Our new vice president. It's part of the reconstruction. Grant has decided to appoint a vice president of power reserved to the president pursuant to the 44th Amendment to help manage the nation's divisions. Then that would help reach an accommodation with the Citizens League and promote their dream of a managed democracy where there's a place for everyone so long as they are in their place. Congressman Hayes would represent an accommodation with the New World Party, a promise of the United States, or reunited States, will continue to stumble towards great equality and freedom for all Americans. But in his darkest moments, Grant warns of Americans are ready for democracy. Perhaps the president should continue to manage the nation with a firm partner to side. Sergeant Dorn has been invaluable since his fall in Navarro. And no one dare challenge his authority and orders. I will not make this decision lightly. Boost the civilian economy, but turn our military workshops over to civilian use. We can turn, if not swords into plowshares, then laser guns and mining equipment. No longer more stability, more civvies, rebuild infrastructure. So here we go, for 90 days. Gain 1% of legitimacy for every two levels of infrastructure built during the decision. I would claim the independent. Oh. The Declaration of Independence. It's a long lost since the Great War, the Declaration of Independence was stored in a lead sealed vault in Washington, D.C. Because an expedition returned to the government's hands. The Capital Wasteland. <clears throat> Ban Free Press. Our initial expedition under the Capital Wasteland reveals the damage was worse than we feared. It looks like the region's water supply is contaminated, super mutants and raiders fight over the Washington Mall, and everything's in ruins. We can stick our, with our original plan and just recover the Declaration of Independence and Constitution, but also set up a humanitarian mission to help the people of the Wasteland. What would be greater than seeing the Enclave Reconstruction, Reconstruction Authority? Troops occupying the Capital Wasteland. Come back when we reunite the waste. People of California, California, Capital Wasteland, your savers are here. And there you go, nice. Remove free press. You get 25% more stability, that's a lot. How much do we have based on peoples? No one's a leader, so honestly, 75 for 25% more stability? Uh. Where's the press here? Ah. Some in the free press might take issue with using weapons that destroy the world. Uh, mandatory patriotism. I like that, but still. We're probably going that way. Extend presidential powers. I like this one the most. Probably empower Congress. Fate of our democracy. The mutant question. Well, I guess we, we have to. Wild Lang Syme. This is different. America's back for a while long. How long until another great war? Another Kaiser? Or do the same forces that brought down the NCR infect us? How do we prevent America from collapsing again? Corporate other tribal nations. From his. Oh, granite. The Commonwealth Project. Hmm. Restore Navarro. Oh. Navarro was at worst, a small refueling depot on the coast of California at best. It was where we made our last stand after the reg went down. And now we have to reclaim Navarro. Let us restore it to its rightful glory. Oh, Nuclear Defense Operations Command. Elko Posse, huh? Bruh, are you kidding me? The mutant question. This is a great war. Radiation has led to the creation of ghouls and mutants. Okay, we cause the mutants with the FEB, and even the waste centers are not pure human. Must the of American dream applies to them as well.
Section 1 of Article 2 of the United States Constitution. The Capital Expedition, returning from the East Coast, their prize was the Declaration of Independence of the Constitution. Preserved and having survived 200 years is a good thing that Uncle Abe didn't bring it aboard the rig, otherwise we might have lost it forever. Which, as just as well, seeing how the Uncle Abe deviated so hard from the Founding Fathers' vision, however, as Grant read the Constitution, probably the first president in 200 years to do so, he discovered something. According to Section 1 of Article 2, at the time of taking the office of the president, one must be a natural born citizen, a resident of 14 years and 35 years of age. Grant was born in 2043, nine months after the rig went down. When he assumed office, he was 32. By the highest law of the land, he was not eligible to be president. If he had his entire presidency, he might very well be illegal. Uh, most, however, when realizing his, this discrepancy, he decided that, well, due to the extraordinary circumstances of the time, such a thing could be overlooked, you know. Further by now, he's old enough now, so why does it matter? There wasn't anyone foolish enough to question Grant on the matter. Anyone challenge my authority in office? Anyone? Come on, speak up. Well, if you turn two upside down, it kind of looks like a five. I, I have to agree with that. That makes a lot of sense. I don't want to ban him. They both lynched. I won't do well not to underestimate the Legion, but the Legion was not a, a fool in and of itself. For years, the Legion were ready to battle the two had to bear. A clashing of titans decided the fate of the wasteland. Yet, uh, speculators and frumentari returned news that the bear had retreated, and in its place flew the banner of the old world. The stars and stripes now bore the Colorado, as an individual in black power armed with glowing eyes watched forever, and vertebrates soared overhead. The specter of the old world had risen and claimed overlord ownership of these lands once more. Kaiser was ready to face the NCR, but the Enclave, the United States, no. He would wait, build his army more, and assimilate more tribes, until then he would send an emissary, offering a truce between the two powers. One, he knew both sides would break in time. Run, Kaiser, run! A truce and ceasefire declared for two years. That's sovereign American territory, Kaiser, get off. Two years. Hmm. Well, alright, that sounds good to me. Anything else here? No? Cool. There you go. <clears throat> Further restore for Irwin. What would be America's Desert Warfare Training Center became the hub of NCR military act, uh, activity pushing into the Mojave before Vegas? Now it's back in our hands. Further restore the Marine Corps Camp Pendleton. The West Coast Marine Corps amphibious base in the center. For marine deployment to China, the base still stands, though ravaged by the sands of time. Boost the civilian economy. Well, we'll see. Uh, how are they able to win here at all? Give me a question. The Enclave. Although barely recognized the mutated denizens of the Wasteland as human, many among us still don't desire clear lines to be drawn between pre or bred human and Wasteland and mutants. The visual sense of government towards the mutated subjects must be made clear to those within and without the Enclave. The means will have a place in America, but not at the top. Segregation, I love that one. Separate but peaceful. We fight not to enslave, but set for country free. Begin integration. Oh, God. Open for business. Fate of our democracy, huh? Law or order? Indefinite martial law sounds like fun. How do we rule the wastelands? Do we want to create the same system as the laws that let the crop of pre-war America get away with the heinous crimes? <clears throat> or do we want to impose a ruthless order of the religion, making California a desert and calling a peace? Wait, uh, let's, let's try it again. Keep learning, boy. Right, you bet the raid was repelled. There you go. That's how you do it. That's how you get her done. Got to be some man. We're free men shall stand. The tyrants of the waste have closed ranks against America. Must prepare for war. That's surely coming our way. Yeah. Lead your marches. Um, waking giant. Uh, while we have control of California, many do not know what we stand for, like the President Volk Grant takes the airwaves. Thousands turn into the radio, hearing for the first time the voices who claim to be the President of the United States of America, as his voice filled homes, bars, and even distant army posts. When I was elected, I asked for time, and the time you have given me, the Enclave and I have rebuilt our nation. We've rebuilt our strength, we've rebuilt our pride as a nation. Fear not, America, for the sleeping giant is awoken, we stand on the precipice of victory. 
So I say to you now, to any tribe, nation, people, or state, whether it wishes us will or ill, that we shall pay the price, bear any burden, and meet with any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe to assure the survival and success of liberty. This much we pledge and more. For those who wish to peace, prosperity, and justice, will extend a helping hand to protect those in need, and those who stand against tyranny shall be welcomed as our own. But those who oppose us, those who revile in anarchy and oppression, those amongst us who shatter our hopes for peace, order, and security, they'll receive no mercy from the U.S. military. But the two states in particular are subject to today's broadcast. Two nations have caught the attention of Uncle Sam. I'm, of course, speaking about the Washington Brotherhood and Khazar's Legion, brutal totalitarian states. They have ensnared a portion of this country and oppressed the American people, our people, and indeed, all people who would strive for peace, liberty, and democracy. These nations, united in the contempt for the human race, have forged an unholy alliance against us. For they know that if left unchecked, the United States will save this country. And so they buy their time, and as the country slowly awakens from its slumber, they gather strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat, and for the first time in over two centuries, they face the total destruction of our homes, freedoms, and indeed a very way of life. They've asked for war, and make no mistake, America, they're going to get it. Thank you, all my fellow Americans, and God bless America. 1776, huh? Stability all the way. The disloyal opposition. Uh, one of the great surprises of the past few years is that Grant C. Hayes, Enclave Lois, and Dave Lomera has been fight, gun fighting with President Granite. Hayes was raised by the Enclave's elite, but somehow the subjugation of California's radicalized this American patriot. Hayes has spoken out in support of ghoul rights, greater aid for impoverished wastelanders, and even the need for the respect of tribals. This morning, Hayes took the new California Public Radio to announce the formation of a new political party, the New World Party. Not a push for greater rights for all Americans. He's also rejected the crisp military attire of the Enclave's elite for the casual, alternative attire New California is known for. He stands as the heir of the best of New California and New America, and he has some thoughts on this indefinite military rule. This is not, wasn't how democracy was supposed to go. And the reformers. With the Enclave's rule expanding across Nevada and the destruction of the diehard purists, Granite has become a prison, in fact, as well as name. Granite, its supporters no longer call themselves reformers, for they're no longer just Enclave scientists and officers, but include Brahmin barons, casino owners, caravanners, Soldiers, vault dwellers, and a few couriers. It's a problem. All these people have different dreams and visions for America. Granite can keep them united for now by saying it's prior to reconstruction, but this will not last forever. And if Granite stands for nothing, then what will he fall for? Democracy seems a lot messier than the old book said. Thanksgiving. Americans enjoyed the return of the 4th of July so much that the presidents think about restoring more holidays. One of his favorite enclave traditions is Thanksgiving. Where he carved the roast death claw and eat sweet potato pie. We're going to revive the tradition for the entire country and ensure people are thankful for friends and family. The Enclave protecting friends of the family. Low, low press from the Crimson Caravan. More like Jameson. That'd be good. Further restore Fort Ord. On all but abandoned bases on the west coast of California, getting it back up and running will provide another area to house and train our troops. What's not to love? I love our flag. Legion marches. Law or order. Cool. Someone should stop them. Against twin mothers, huh? <coughs> Where's twin mothers? Twin mommies? Oh, wow. They're all fighting here, too. Since the NCR has collapsed. Uh, New California's been rife with banditry, corruption, and brutality. The NCR's ramshackle bureaucracy already overstretched has all but collapsed despite the Enclave Reconstruction Authority efforts to keep it in place. Gangs of barons rule as they please and get to the state up and running again will require substantial effort, some idealists in the NCR. Believe we need to restore our faith in the impartial judiciary. A law that protects itself, but turn the brown and barren alike. I think we should work with the New California's elite. Crush sent quickly and efficiently. After all, strict constitutional scholar might question how Grant even became president. Large one South Legion. I like this one a lot. I like this one the most, honestly. Uh, but to the Republic, a government of laws and not of men. Let every American, every lover of liberty, swear by the blood of the revolution never to violate the laws of the country and never to tolerate their violation uh, by others. As the Patriots of 76 did just to the support of the Declaration of Independence, so to the support of the Constitution and laws that every American pledges life is property and sacred honor. Abraham Lincoln. About the judiciary. No man is above the law, no man is below it, nor do we ask any man's permission when we ask him to obey it. Obedience to the laws is demanded as a right, not as a favor. Federal Bureau of Investigation, of course, too. Much like the California Ranger, the Federal Bureau of Investigations will be tasked with hunting down the meanest, toughest criminals of the wastes. And we'll make sure they're brought to justice. Remove smuggling. Replace New Reno Police with the Federal Bureau of Investigations, which would be fantastic for us, too. Enclave are born. Well, we can't quite do that one. A nation are born. Yeah. 
Nukalam. For the Great War, New Reno is home to a park full of rides and games called Nukalam. Although not as impressive as its East Coast counterpart, we could revive it as a symbol, the promise of the better times to come. Of course, to have some experience on the park goers. Book your way on vacation. Unless I've seen park trains, death clouds pass. Well, it's better than the plan to poison the world's water supply. Brahmin barons, even a crash in the rebels in the NCR, the Brahmin barons' wealth and power gives them a stranglehold in Northern California. Some suggest we spend men and laser guns to break their power, while others suggest we cement the position in the reunited states at a great cost for a popular. Some wonder there's a third option out there. Too bad we can't give them to Kaiser. Yeah, national anthem. The reunited states must choose a national anthem. Some say we should stick with the Star Spangled Banner, perhaps the Battle Cry of Freedom, one of my favorites. But the Secret Service spies on the Boneyard found a hollow disc at a pre war bar called the Eagle by a slinger named RuPaul. Her song hit American is hit with the troops, but she's the stars of the stripes flying high, red, white, and blue. She is me and you. She's American through and through. RuPaul. I like the Battle Cry of Freedom. I do like that one the most. We got a crap ton of man power. People party. I'll probably go to the people party. Might go with Hayes. The peoples. Revive the judiciary. The U.S. Marshals. Warlock tribals, crazed gangs, wayward militias, monster horrors, and sins of our past. We're, of course, talking about the late 1800s, of course. Thankfully, America's just the answer for that. The U.S. Marshals. Stories like Wild Bill, Water, Base Reeves, and the gunfight at O.K. Corral. These ancient stories are enough to fill several hollow tapes worth of entertainment. However, today, the President has issued the recreation of the United States Marshal Service in conjunction with the Department of Justice. These brave men and women will be tasked with bringing law and order to the American frontier, dragging down threats to communities, and working in conjunction with local law enforcement equivalents in the U.S. Army to ensure the eradication of threats to the families of the United States. Sooner or later, God's going to cut you down. Nice. Very good. Forget about this. This organized army. Let's just go over there, yeah. Where are you demobilizing? Yeah, that's fine. Want Americans win all? No. Are we making anything at all? We are slowly getting there. Fort Irwin Training Center. In the pre war era, uh, Fort Irwin was home to the National Training Center. America's premier desert training, desert warfare training center. It was key to our victory in the Gobi campaign. Post war, the base remained unused due to the high amount of automated defenses that guarded the base. After a dedicated campaign by the NCR, the base was restored to relative working order, becoming the center of the NCR push into the Mojave and rebel nation's largest military installations. Now back in our hands, we can return it to its natural training routes by establishing the West End Warfare Training Center, giving our troops an edge with the closest to real life combat ex experience possible. Best train in the waste. In the waste, yeah. Aged for all its criticisms of long clave excesses, it is firm belief that America is the world's best, last best hope. The point of Hayes is the vice president who will confirm that our faith in the great experiment and that a government for the people, by the people, and other people should not perish from this earth. Never mind. Uh, sure. Mm. Hearts and minds. We cannot rule this country without the hearts and minds of its many citizens. Let us utilize radio and television to win over their hearts and revive the educational system to gain their mind. Because we do need some vaccinations. I remember that one for a fact. Vaccinations is administration of anti-genetic material, the vaccine, to stimulate an individual's immune system to develop adaptive immunity to a pathogen. Because we do need to do the fate of our economy, or the fate of our democracy too. Some say that it should be the United States. We need to restore democracy and the end of the martial law that has been in effect since 2077. But others question whether this is the best time. Rebuilt in Fort Ord, one of the oldest army installations um, in California. The base was par par partially abandoned in the late 20th century before the army took back command of the site and rebuilt it as a training and defense power point against the communist menace that invaded Alaska. It and the city of Mon Monterey were hit hard during the war, with Monterey being all but abandoned by the NCR as it became a haven for raiders and slavers until the NCR army came in and wiped out the city off the map completely. They occupied. The remains of Fort Ord for some time before pulling units out of other locations. Since we tore the space full working order, both to keep a watch alive for any Xi activity, as well as provide a garrison out for our forces on the western edge of California. Good lord, what happened to Monterey? 
further restore 29 palms. The largest base of the former United States Marine Corps. These are trying that turn the tide of the resource wars against China. And we'll do further restore Port, Port Hunter Liggett. An old U.S. Army training post in West Central California that also served the NCR post-war. What do we have here? FBI. Pre-war installations. Very cool. Arts and minds, vaccinations, fate of our democracy, all this good stuff. Um, the Commonwealth Project. Seeking allies. Defeat the axes of evil. Because uh, we still need to do any great officers. By integrating wastelanders into our army, we'll unite the nation to our flag and give our enemies someone else to shoot at. Uh, integrate politicians. Ch citizens can stand for office no matter their origin. Integrate scientists. The current since the Great War has led to the centers of higher learning that produced scientists for the first time in decades. They can serve the American dream and the Americans one and all. Uh, the time's going to break down the barriers between our citizens and the old guard of the Enclave. By accepting distinguished wastelanders in higher positions of government, we can improve our legitimacy as a rightful American government. Vertebra crash into uh, Legion territory. Mr. President appears one of our vertebrates engaged in peaceful reconnaissance over Legion territory crash, sadly. Our efforts to maintain technology that was designed for a global atomic war two centuries ago, although impressive, is not perfect. Kaiser has been around second the crash site, and although they probably cannot build vertebrates, it may give them insights to rebuild in their own air force. Well, it's the Brotherhood didn't get the plans. East Coast Exiles. To our astonishment, a group of unrecognized vertebrates have approached our location with a legitimate Enclave call sign. They're led by a lieutenant named Schultz, supporting Enclave power armor. Schultz traveled from the Raven Rock facility in the Capital Waste, then leading a vertical assault team dispatched by Colonel Autumn to salvage assets from the ashes of Navarre on the rig. The mission was a suicide errand designed by Autumn to purge opposition from his ranks. Those that survived found us, not ruins. While the news of the illegitimate President Eden is struggling, most of the Enclave's vertebrates went east with Autumn's father. Schultz's tactical experience could prove invaluable in integrating air power with the Enclave ground forces. A surprise, but a welcome one. That's not all who arrived. Ooh. Stepping off the last vertebrate. <clears throat> uh, Schultz was quickly informed everyone that the command of the operation was none other than George Harrison. None. Ha or no one had the slightest idea who that was. Somebody even know what that was. Fortunately, some of the older members of the Enclave mentioned it was the civilian leader of all the military assets of the United States military, answering only to the President himself. Harrison introduced himself to Grant, who was more than happy to receive the Secretary of Defense. After some introduction. Harrison described a falling out with the East Coast Enclave, and he was sent west to give the expedition some authority. He knew, however, it was the same as the rest, so a way to get rid of him. Suffice to say, he was glad his expedition wasn't in vain. Well, didn't know that they were carrying a VIP. Welcome aboard, George Harrison. Oh, that's cool. Secretary of Defense. George Harrison, huh? Economic policies. George Harrison, huh? Oh, we have first uh, assistant Lynette right here. Not bad. Dana McCoy. That's not bad. I like better resistance to K speed, better resistance growth speed, and better daily compliance. That's cool. Um, now we still have collapse trade, unfortunately, and collapse economy. You know, we just like collapsing the economy. We have our Fox, Adam Clark. Oh, more fair dropper stuff, you know, of course. Drummond. Um, Jace, what is it? Oh, George Harrison. So we have this guy give his daily army XP. This gives daily XP for all the branches. Interesting. But in the meantime, we're doing and still integrating the scientists, which is fine with us for now. Uh, but still. And we are down here. And we're going to do the center one too. Someone says, God ble bless the Enclave. God bless America. Very, very nice. And someone else says, America will rise again. Soon every American citizen will be free, free from the harshness of the wasteland. God bless the Enclave. God bless America. Um, someone says, You're supposed to declare war with a focus for the uprisings. They will flip the entire state for the Enclave, just re roll the save, which we did earlier, of course. Um, let's see if we can actually pair drop here. I wonder if we can. So we're going to do this. And we're going to say, Hopefully, goodbye. And we're going to help defend and help defend. Someone says, Remember to take your general so that I don't get assassinated. Oh, crap. I forgot about that. Hey, we're major power now. That's nice. See if we can actually pair drop or not. Oh, oh crap, we can't actually do that in great sciences. We need more stability. Oh, well, my bad. That's my fault. I should have realized that. Um, restore Navarro. We should have read it earlier. If you do this, please go ahead. But we're pair, starting to pair drop. Oh, a little bit of lag. Oh. Oh, we don't have enough command power either. Unfortunate. Ah. Oh, I don't want to lose any divisions. Can we actually pair drop and do okay here? Uh, I want you to help out here. I want you to help out here too. You're all going to force the attack. I want you to start going here. And then the Concord. Nice. Cut him off. That'll be good. San Rafael. Ooh. Good. Good. Keep him in place. You know. Keep him in place. And go there too. Here. Let's go right there. Concord. 
Good. Hey, I have, I have news from the front. Navarro. This is Rick Green giving you the updates from Navarro. New California Republic has been pushed back across Northern California. Oh, uh, okay. By the Enclave Rest Reconstruction Authority. An ironic twist of fate, the NCR now fights a desperate defense of Navarro, their last stronghold in the North. The very same fortress they took from the Enclave decades ago. That's Enclave Reconstruction Authority. Troops storm the ruined fortress. The NCR troops prepare to fight to the bitter end in the derelict tunnels beneath the fortress. We will avenge Navarro. And the Golden Gate is ours. Enclave forces have officially secured the Golden Gate Bridge after hours of deadly fighting against a determined sheet defense. Enclave power armor, supported by vertebrate gunships, stormed over the sheet defenses and sent many fleeing for the safety of San Francisco proper. Any remaining motivated defenders were quickly reduced to ash or goo as the reinforcements were pushed over the bridge and into the city. The Chinese exclave will fall to the American enclave. Absolutely. Let's go straight for this new capital. Yeah, just help them out here. Quickly perish. Let's quickly get over. Take the fort. Kill them all off. You know, all the good stuff. Hey, we got them. Hey, not bad overall. And it was a little risky there at times, but I was getting a little worried too. But we didn't lose any divisions. It's a people nation conquered, not people nation. Nice. Got a couple more ships, and overall it's not bad too. Um, here, do that one. Cool. And I like this one. Uh, daily political power gain, caps income. That uh, seems pretty good overall. We have enough money. Sure, why not? I got a lot of stuff we do there. Organization relations, don't really need it. Where free men stand, the Legion marches, protect California's coast with the fall of the NCR. The broken coast, uh, tribals, bandits, and fr from Mexico can raid America's seaboard. Let's put a stop to that. And these guys, oh, well, we're gonna restore, restore them all first. Now we have 99% stability. Legal change is going down by 0.5%. That's not good. Return to Navarro. We're taking Navarro. And for many of the oldest members of the Enclave, it holds more than just simply taking back some land. After the rig went down, the base went from a simple refueling outpost to a fortress that was our last stand before we were scattered. It was here that hundreds lost their lives of the NCR and Brotherhood, and it was here that Dornan led the exodus in Nevada and planted the seed of her return. Many of the survivors of the battle broke down when they saw friends and family die, others seemed to be at peace knowing that their sacrifice wasn't in vain. Many of the dead were dumped into the mass grave, and the Army Mortuary Affairs Division is going through and identifying them for proper military burial. All this to strengthen the resolve to see Navarro transformed in the largest base on the West Coast, a massive installation, whose size would rival that of the Shady Sands. With shovel in hand, the Army Engineer Corps is ready to begin. From the ashes, Navarro will rise. Expand the base, huh? Navarro itself is nothing more than a small helipad hangar in an underground complex. Uh, the same forever we built, rebuilt New Arena with, we can make it the largest installation on the West Coast. Absolutely. And to do that whole thing here, we're trying to increase the people's size for now, so that we could boost the civilian economy, but eh, I think we're okay. Further store March AFB, what well, was once an air reserve base, the NCR took over and expanded the base, turning it to the birthplace of the Air Force. Uh, sure, why not? Oh, Vault 22 still, of course, we got all the stuff down here. Uh, we can take about two. So, you know, so TKC training would be good for suppression. I love suppression. I love suppressing people. What else can we take out? Sky Reavers, I guess, technically. Um, we're not bordering them. We gotta go to where the 80s as well, eventually, too. So, the 80s, I don't mind preemptively attacking them. Get deep by Castle Legion, but we can take out the Legion first. The Legion's getting thick. Thick as sick. Um I can't just file them, which sucks. I mean spices unfortunately is gone now too. There you go. What if we took all those cargo planes? It's hundred. We go right here. Home of California. Small base. Seeing out of Western California, pre-war was used as a training and containment center for forces, training up for operations with China. post war was used by the NCR as the main army base in the region. After tearing down and removing the two-headed bear flags, the Enclave has raided Old Glory High once again, and the base is ready to receive American troops for exercise and training. The various large training areas that surround that post will give our troops all the experience they need to fight a war in a post-nuclear environment, as well as how to conduct mass uh, combat maneuvers in the wasteland. Nice place you got here. Cool. So it says, remember, once you begin occupying the NCR, I'm going to sign all your generals. Unless you want them to be assassinated and begin accepting mutants. Yes, except... Uh, cool. Well, we'll see. If it does happen, I'll, I will really let's say it again, so... Uh, restore... If you want to read about this one, please go ahead. Because we're going to do this one. Nice. Look at that manpower. My god. Ooh, three is not good enough, though. Oh god. As soon as we get up there... Capture the warren. Oh, hello. They have lots of warren already, huh? The Mylock tribes are doing okay. Wow. 
good. Economic percentage is nice. Integrate them, because we're going to integrate the politicians. So this one should be done. More than 50% support for the New World Party. New World Party, 52%. Is this bugged? Complete. Has completed indefinite martial law. Has completed the Federal Bureau of Investigations. Has completed the Voting Rights Act. Am I missing something here? I must be missing something here, right? Americans one and all. We have to do that one. Um, so... And we also did the Federal Bureau of Investigations. So... This seems bugged. The Baron's grip tightened. One of the following is true. Has completed the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Oh, the voting right. Okay, so we definitely have to do the voting rights act then. Okay. It's not bugged. So we have to beeline through here. The fate of our democracy. Of course, some say it should be truly the United States. We need to restore democracy and end the martial law that's been effective since 2077. But let's question whether this is the best form or best time. Baseball. The president's resolve to, uh, decided to revive a pre-war game to boost patriotism has gone on the radio with a new speech. We've been thinking quite a bit lately about something we can all relate to, or something that is unquestionably and inescapably American. I'm referring, of course, to our great national pastime, baseball. Now ask yourself this. What if Nevada's gamblers could live again? Well, they compete with baseball teams from California or Oregon, put your faith in the enclave of Great America, and baseball will live again. Cover, recreation, healthy competition, all will live again, this country will live again. Yeah, why not? And then empower Congress, because we want more legitimacy. Ever since the Great War, Congress has been little more than an advisory body of the President. But perhaps the time has come to restore the legislative branch of our government. Restoring the powers of Congress would be an important step to bring back democracy from the ashes of the old world. Legion marches, and who are they doing this time? Somebody should stop them, huh? It's like a junction, huh? That just means that we have less people to take out ourselves, then. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get this done in time. Dang it, empower Congress. Ever since the Great War, Congress has been little more than an advisory body to the President, but perhaps time has come to restore the legislative branch of a government. Restoring the powers of Congress would be an important step to bringing back democracy from the ashes of the world. Marine Corps Camp Pendleton. Camp Pendleton was the primary Marine Corps amphibious warfare base on the West Coast and proved integral during the Great War. It was from here that the Marine Air Ground Task Force, Shanghai, launched forward and within months secured the city for Uncle Sam, the beachhead. Established a lot of the Marines, and eventually the army to push deep into the Chinese mainland, though their glory was eventually stolen in the Great War. The base remained occupied by travelers eventually came to emulate the Marines as sort of a, a cargo cult, which were dealt with by the NCR, who occupied the base not realizing what history they were squatting on. The few and the proud, of course. And then the Voting Rights Act. Counterfeiters. The collapse of the NCR's treasury were allowed to fill in the gap of the Enclave Reconstruction Authority's script and bottle caps. Unfortunately, those left counterfeiters with the ability to inject false currency into the economy will need to revive the banking system to put a stop to this. How come nobody counterfeits Kaiser's coinage? Congress will do us a little good if we don't safeguard the electoral process. Let's make sure that every citizen's voices are heard, but barring any attempts to manipulate or pr pressure their vote. So we're going to get through this one at least. Yeah, that'd be good to do. And then, of course, free elections, too. We hold the United States are holding their first free elections in over 200 years, of course. The only eligible citizens of America can vote. Fate of democracy. New Arena prospers under our rule, but we must decide how to govern from the United States. Douglas's rule has been successful and he's brought us back from the brink. The nation's been under martial law since the war, and he gets cement his power, and frankly, better than we could hope, rule. Or get and restore the United States, risk, risking the control of the enclave and elections, and give a power to the natives. Oh, okay. So, nice. Cool. Although Grant has decided to restore democracy, there are still many who express concern about giving everybody a say in the government. After all, look at all the mor morass the NCR was. Walt City's mayor suggested suffrage be granted only to Americans who can pass something like their old citizenship test, or those with a clean genetic history. These wise citizens would select representatives to advise the president. Alternatively, we could just adopt the old view of every man of vote. What part of democracy are you not getting? No, let's get that. Further store Edwards Air Force Base. Since the Great War, Edwards Air Force Base sat derelict and then sat as home of the NCR Air Force. Time to return to former glory. Birthplace of the NCR Air Force. Former Air Reserve Base on the outskirts of the Boneyard. Uh, the NCR repaired the base and brought it online and made it the center of their air operations. Mark it as the birthplace of the NCR Air Force. Same Air Force was probably smashed when we took back California, looking over. The base, the expansion that NCR t undertook, is sound. And, ooh. You're going to space, go to, um, uh, and the Air Force has decided to upgrade the base from the Air Reserve Base to a full-fledged Air Force Base. Another uh, addition to our operations as we move east. Especially within the Legion, sitting just across Colorado with a base within range of aircraft, but out of the range of Kaiser's from Atari. Serves America once more. Fantastic. fan frickin tastic My looks are doing... What's going on up here? We're in line. They have a lot of manpower. They don't. 
They have as many divisions that doesn't help them, so. Voting Rights Act. Congress hold session, huh? Hey, yeah, the gun's looking okay, though. I don't mind pair dropping here, but like, there's no way to get them out once we pair drop them. I guess saying that you can pair drop back out of here. That's why I want to go to war with these guys, though. Uh, since we're here, just go and train if you need to. Congress hold session, even before the Great War. The executive branch, and by extension, the Enclave, stripped away most power of America's legislative branch. Congress on the rig was nothing more than a vestigial organization kept on veiling the nepotism of the elite. Today, however, Congress has officially returned, with representatives from various census de designated locales, the senators from the states and commonwealths. Despite not being in his official duties, the president presided over the first acts of Congress of the United States, who merely enacted a series of laws designed to check the executive branch's power. Democracy in action. Hey, better compliance every day. That's pretty great. And of course, Americans won and all, which I read earlier. But the time's going to break down the barriers between our new citizens and the old guard of the Enclave by accepting distinguished way centers into higher positions of government. We can improve our legitimacy as a rightful American government. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to end the episode there. If you enjoyed it, though, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you what else we can do with the Enclave. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.